Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, Meghan Markle is once again in the spotlight, this time celebrating the Oscar nomination for the short film, The After, directed by her close friend Mizan Harriman. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm all for celebrating achievements and acknowledging talent. However, the cloud of suspicion looms large when it comes to Meghan and her seemingly relentless pursuit of accolades and recognition. Let's connect the dots, shall we? Meghan is close friends with the director, Mizan Harriman, who, by the way, has a history of capturing those intimate moments for the Sussexes, including the pregnancy announcement photograph and shots of Princess Lilibet. It's not just a professional connection. It's a relationship that goes beyond the lens. And while genuine friendships in the entertainment industry are not unheard of, the timing and frequency of Meghan's appearances in the orbit of award-winning projects are raising eyebrows. The actor has already garnered several awards before the Oscars, and the Netflix synopsis suggests a gripping storyline. But one can't help but wonder if Meghan's involvement is less about the project's merit and more about furthering her image as a patron of the arts and a supporter of important social issues. Is Meghan genuinely passionate about the film, or is it another strategic move in her playbook to secure a place in the limelight? Now, let's pivot to the recent incident in Montecito that has tongues wagging. Reports suggest that a furious Megan was caught throwing crockery. Yes, you heard it right. Crockery. One can't help but draw parallels between the alleged crockery throwing incident and the turbulent emotions surrounding the Sussexes. Is this an isolated event, or is it a manifestation of the frustrations that Megan and Harry might be facing behind their well-manicured public image? But back to the Oscars, Macon's joy for her friend's nomination comes at a time when her personal life seems to be under strain. The excuse for missing her husband's award acceptance, caring for a sick child, is understandable, and we all sympathize with the challenges of parenthood. However, it does raise questions about the constant ebb and flow of personal drama that coincidentally aligns with crucial moments in their public engagements. And let's not forget the connection to Princess Diana during Harry's award acceptance. John Travolta referencing his dance with Princess Diana in 1985 could be seen as a touching tribute. Still, some may argue that these sentimental nods to the past conveniently weave a narrative that appeals to the public's emotions, further solidifying the Sussexes as figures worthy of admiration. In conclusion, as we navigate through the intricate web of Meghan's Hollywood connections, Oscar nominations, and alleged crockery-throwing episodes, it's essential to question the motives behind the carefully curated public image. Is Meghan genuinely committed to supporting her friend's project, or is this just another attempt to bask in the glow of someone else's success? And how much of their personal lives are we willing to accept as genuine, considering the strategic timing of these revelations? So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.